Hey everybody, welcome to the Y-N-T-A-A-Y Minis. I'm Chris Smith, and guess what I went to see the other day? The prom. I went all the way to beautiful New York City, and I saw The Prom, which is now one of my all-time favorite musicals. I had made a list, which I'm going to share with you in the coming months, of um, like my top 20 musicals of all time. Um, which is very hard to do, and I had my 20 set, and then when I saw the prom, it had to jump onto that list and just push somebody off, but I haven't decided yet who. Um, so yes, and I waited after the show, and, um, and got some autographs. Not a lot of the, um, the main actors came out, but, um, you know, the prom I've been talking about for a long time since um, I did the episode about the um, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade performance where the two girls who are in the show kiss at the end of the song, which was a great song, and it was the, like the end of the show that they performed, which I was a little like, oh, do you really want to perform the end of the song? But it's fine. Or the end of the show. Um, but so they kissed, and it was controversial because people were like, what? This is the first same-sex kiss ever on the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And it's like, so? Um, but people were all up in arms. So the cast recording is one of my favorites. I listen to it all the time in the car. And let me tell you some things about it. Of course, it's about to close on Broadway. So if you are in the New York area and get the chance, rush to the Long Acre Theater and get you a ticket. It um, plays until August 11th, 2019. If you're watching after that, then you'll just have to get into a time machine and watch it then. Though, it is going to start a national tour, but not until February 2021 in Providence, Rhode Island. So as that gets closer, we'll talk more about theaters and tours, and I'll, I'll review the tour. Um, once that comes around to me, which will take forever. Which was one of the reasons that I had to go and see it in New York. Uh, and there was another reason involving Meryl Streep, uh, which we'll talk about in a second. So, um, the show's directed and choreographed by Casey Nicola. Um, the music is by Matthew Sklar. Lyrics are by Chad Begillen. Forgive me if I got your name wrong, Chad. And you know, they worked on... Um, uh, the Wedding Singer, which is one of my favorites. Uh, the book is by Bob Martin of The Drowsy Chaperone and Chad Begillen. And um, the basis, it's an original concept by Jack Viertel. Uh, it started in August 2016 at the Alliance Theater in Atlanta. And then in 2018, it opened on the Broadway at the Long Acre, uh, November 15th. 2018 with previews October 23rd uh, 2018 so it's had a nice long full season run um, that nothing to be ashamed about uh, the production cost was 13.5 million uh, to stage this thing and it is beautiful but it will not recoup its investment let's hope that it does eventually uh, it was nominated for seven Tony Awards and the cast includes um, Tony nominees Caitlin Kanunen, Brooks Ashmanskis as Barry Glickman, and Beth Level as Dee Dee Allen. And uh, Christopher Sieber's in it, and Angie Schroer, Schroer, sorry, Angie, and Isabella McCalla, and uh, Michael Gagene has taken over as Mr. Hawkins as the school principal. Um, and I should mention Courtney Collins as Mrs. Green and Josh Lehman as Sheldon Saperstein. Now, here are some of the, the um, signatures. And look, I got this amazing um, program. And you know, sometimes shows do programs and they're just not that great. But this one has a lot of nice pictures in it. Sometimes the there is just like a few pages and there's like really big pictures of somebody's face and now as you know it's about this girl that wants to take her girlfriend to the prom in Indiana and the PTA cancels the um, the prom because they don't want a same-sex union um, 
destroying their little town. And um, so these Broadway stars who have been labeled narcissistic, uh, look at these cute shirts that says, we're all lesbians. Um, those were for sale, I think. Um, I didn't get one because I was like, well, it doesn't say the prom on the front of it or anything. And mm, no, I'm not a lesbian. Um, <laughs> here are the girls, and they are wonderful. Um, but yeah, so these Broadway stars come to this town just to get some good publicity for themselves. And of course, chaos erupts because they just make things worse. And it's very funny. The music is very clever. I just love that Brooks Ash Ashmanskis. I think I saw him on the street a couple of days later, and I wanted to say, is that you, Brooks Ashmanskis? But I don't like to approach people when they're just out on their own, not involving, you know, the show. At the stage door, it's fine, but don't like to bother people. Um, but yes, yeah, so, so, um, I went with my friend Abigail, and we sat in the front, the top balcony, but um, it was like right on the front row, so we were looking right down. It was perfect because of the overhang, so we weren't like with a bunch of tall heads in front of us. Like when I saw Taboo and Rosie O'Donnell was in front of me, her head is very big. I'm always talking about that, and I love you, Rosie, you know. Um, but she's always said she has a big head. So nobody was in front of us, and we loved it. Um... Now, they are making a movie. Ryan Murphy is uh, producing this movie, and it's going to start filming at the end of this year, 2019. Um, the rumor has it that it's going to go into theaters around September 2020, and um, then be released on Netflix the following month for streaming in October of 2020, just in time for the 2020 election. So, um, but, and I, when I first heard this, I said, oh, perfect, they'll film the cast. And, I mean, I know they don't normally do that. They did with Rent, and they're doing it with the Broadway cast of The Boys in the Band. Most of them are, I think all of them are in the movie that's coming up from Ryan Murphy on Netflix. Is that a Netflix thing? I think so. Um, but they're not using these people from the show. They're using Meryl Streep. Nicole Kidman, James Corden, Andrew Rannells, Keegan-Michael Keel, and Aquafina is um, taking the role of Sheldon Saperstein, but now she's going to be called Ms. Sheldon. So he gets a complete gender change. Um, and I'm like, oh, I mean, you know, I love all those people, and I love Meryl Streep, don't get me wrong, but when I heard that she was doing Dee Dee Allen, I'm like, Oh, no, because Meryl Streep, I mean, she takes every role there is for a woman of a certain age. And maybe even a man of a certain age, too, because Meryl can play anybody. But um, I'm like, oh, I really want to hear Beth Lovell do the whole show and see her do it because she's the original. And she's been with the show for years when they've been doing the um, the readings and the the Atlanta production. So... And Meryl Streep has a lovely voice, don't get me wrong, but Dee Dee Allen, the character, is a belting Broadway star, and I just, you know, judging from Mamma Mia, the movie, and um, Meryl just doesn't really belt. So, I don't know. So I, that was the main reason that I had to book a trip to New York. That was where it all started. So thank you, Meryl Streep, for... Pushing me back to New York. I just love this shirt. Um, now they're writing a young, they're doing a young adult novel adaptation of the movie, I mean of the um, show, and that's going to be released September 10th, 2019 from Penguin Young Readers Viking Children's Books. Um, Sandra Mitchell will write it, working with the show's creators to transform the musical in print. And uh, did you know... The night after I was there, um, I saw it last, I saw it Friday, August 2nd at 8 p.m. And on Saturday, August 3rd, um, I believe at the evening performance, 
there was a wedding on stage after the curtain calls, after the show was over, and two ladies were married, and they, it was performed by Bob Martin, who's the book writer of the show, and the two ladies were, um, or are, are Mel K. Harper, who is a script coordinator on the show, and Jody K. Smith, who's an actress and singer. And it was Broadway's first known onstage same-sex wedding. So we went from the controversy in November at the Macy's Parade uh, with the kiss to an actual wedding on stage. So ha! Um, <laughs> and I would have loved to have seen the wedding, but um, yeah. But it might have made less people come out from the theater because what if they had a reception inside that the cast was at and then people wouldn't come out and sign the program. So, um, yeah, I'm selfish. I like to get some signatures. So, did I tell you everything? So it was nominated for seven Tony Awards. It was up for Best Musical, but Hades Town won. And that was one of the reasons I didn't see Hades Town. And I will see it, y'all, but... I'm like, oh, I really wanted the prom to win. It was sort of like when Tootsie the movie, oh, am I sweating to the oldies? When Tootsie the movie was nominated back in what, 82 or 83 Academy Awards, uh, and Gandhi won. And I have never seen Gandhi because it beat Tootsie. Look, I have the Tootsie poster hanging back there next to the Tootsie musical poster, which I also saw and will review. But anyway, so... The prom is just so good if you all get a chance. Like I said, it's closing August 11th, and then you're going to have it in the movie theaters, you're going to have it on Netflix, and then you're going to have the tour starting in 2021. So I urge you all to rush and see the prom. You'll be glad you did. Okay, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.